Shout Factory TV, changing the channel. I had a phone call from my agent uh, after I did One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and he said you're going to meet Peter Locke and an up and coming director called Wes Craven. So when I met Wes and Peter Locke I realized right away that they were pretty calm, easy going fellows. Uh, Peter Locke had a very uh, vibrant, childlike sensibility. He was uh, quick to smile and laugh and joke. Wes was uh, philosophic and, uh, and obviously well-read, educated, kind of like a teacher, and I believe he was a teacher at one time. So we had a meeting and uh, he said, you know, it's a family of modern-day cannibals uh, via atomic test range, uh, mutations, etc. So of course I realized that my persona, the way I look, help generate their interest into the, uh, the role of Pluto for me. So that was all good, but once you get the character, you, uh, you have to add me to the bone, which is what I love to do. Faith, go away. Off with this far. Ah! Get away from me, William Gluntz. Pig brain. My part as William Gluntz in Deadly Blessing came about uh, due to the uh, 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 interest of Wes. We discussed the role and one of the things that intrigued me was that William knew what the secret of the, uh, the, the demonic entity, good and evil, very classic storytelling elements. And the fact that he knew, uh, and it was uh, portrayed from the very beginning uh, when uh, William kicks the uh, artwork uh, of the little uh, young gal who is the artist. And of course it looks like he's actually, you know, maybe there's something wrong with this guy. He could be dangerous, but actually there's a nice twist at the end. I picked up on that right away and I, and I thought that would be a lot of fun to roll with. William! William! Hellfire to the incubus! Nobody, you his eyes! Get back where you belong, William! Get down. 